Try your best to treat others, as you would wish to be treated yourself, and you will find that this is the shortest way to benevolence. The disease of men is that they neglect their own fields and go to weed the fields of others. The great man is he who does not lose his child's heart. People are eager to comment on something when they themselves are not in the situation of doing it. The sole concern of learning is to seek one's original heart. Friendship is one mind in two bodies. The feeling of right or wrong is the beginning of wisdom. One who believes all of a book would be better off without books. There is a power in everything. It is the job of the artist to determine it and express it. Truth uttered before, its time is dangerous. Never has a man who has bent himself been able to make others straight. Only when someone refuses to do certain things will he be capable of doing great things. There is no greater delight than to be conscious of sincerity on self-examination. The feeling of compassion is the beginning of humanity. He who exerts his mind to the utmost knows his nature. With melted snow, I boil fragrant tea. There is no greater delight than to be conscious of sincerity on self-examination. The way of truth is like a great road. It is not difficult to know it. The evil is only that men will not seek it. Filling with food, warming with clothes, living leisurely without learning, it is little short of animals. A man must not be without shame, for the shame of being without shame is shamelessness indeed. Treat others as you would be treated. Devote yourself to that, for there's no more direct approach to humanity. Integrity, wisdom, skill, intelligence, such things are forged in adversity. Don't do what should not be done, and don't desire what should not be desired. Abide by this one precept, and everything else will follow. We live, not as we wish to, but as we can. Am not fond of disputation, I have no alternative.